hair looks messy. Hello muggles, my name is Ashley Stormer and welcome to my channel. Recently I have been reading this book called Kindness for Weakness by Sean Goodman and there are some really interesting themes in it. It's following this character who is in the juvenile justice system and there are a lot of themes that I'm really excited to talk about but I'm not quite finished with it yet. So for today I thought I would try to catch up on some of my tag videos that I've been tagged to do. And the one that I'm going to do is the Shakespeare tag by Kara from Wild Book Garden. And I think y'all should go check her out. She has really cool taste in books. Her channel, I like that she doesn't talk about stuff that's, you know, necessarily constantly circuiting booktube. So it's a lot of unique book choices. So thank you for tagging me, Kara. And let's jump in. The first one is Much Ado About Nothing. Favorite bickering couple whom everyone knows really care about each other. Obviously, I'm going to go with Hermione and Ron. Measure for Measure, a book whose plot or genre is hard to explain. Um, I read a lot of nonfiction, a lot of memoirs, and a lot of... So I don't read a ton of stuff that's very difficult to explain. A Midsummer Night's Dream. Favorite book featuring fairies or elves. This is going to be Aragon. It's one of the first fantasy book series that I read, and I read it years and years and years ago. Hamlet, underutilized female characters. Ophelia definitely deserved more of a plot, <laughs> but I'm actually going to go with um, Holly Golightly from Breakfast at Tiffany's. I adore the movie, not as much the book. The book is from a male's point of view of a guy who kind of idealizes Holly, and while I understand that that's the point and that's the theme, it would have been really cool to see her own story st told from her perspective. Uh, I will list my favorite poem downstairs. I actually did a video on it on Instagram for National Poetry Day. Richard III, protagonist willing to do anything to get what they want. I'm gonna go with Rose Hathaway. I know it's 2018 and we should be moving away from vampire genre, but I loved that series, Vampire Academy, and I loved that she kind of, even though she was responsible in the end, I kind of always loved how she was a rule breaker and she did what she needed to do. Titus Andronicus, I, I don't even know who or what that is, but lesser known work by a popular author. I'm going to go with Anything by Carrie Fisher. She's really well known for her memoirs, such as Princess Diarist, etc, etc. But uh, she writes really good fiction. I highly recommend, you know, postcards from the edge and all of her fiction works to people too. She has a really keen sense of comedy. King Lear, complex female villain or anti-hero. Obviously, I'm going to go with Cersei Lannister. She is freaking fascinating to read about. The last one is The Taming of the Shrew. Choose polarizing books, one you love and one you hate. I loved the book The Assistance. I've never heard anyone talk about it. It's about these 30-something year olds who are sick and tired of paying back their student loans and this is very applicable to me. And then a book that I hated was Bleed For Me and it was about an abusive relationship and it was really romanticized and I kind of thought it was disgusting. So I tag anyone who had fun with this or was into Shakespeare or who wants to do a book tag and remember to go give Kara's YouTube and Twitter some love and thank you so much for watching.